Hello, gentlemen. How are you today? Hi, Bonnie, how are you? I'm awesome. great. Thank you so much for this absolutely stupendous series. I watched the entire thing. Oh, um, yeah. Austin, let's just start with you because, look, you've both played real life people before. But my God, the pressure that must have been on you to play these men, I can't even imagine. Oh, yeah. Where do you even start, Austin, to get into the, the head of this of this hero? Unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, he's really remarkable, isn't he? Like they all yeah. all these all these guys were just so incredibly brave, and there was such a nobility. Um, so as you say, there's so much responsibility there. So for me, it was it was starting with the with the book Masters of the Air, that kind of was the bedrock, and then from there, then I just started, you know, watching everything that I could from that time period, and um, and uh, eventually I, I tracked down a home movie. Uh, mm. that, that some of Clevin's family had, had recorded him telling stories later on in life. It was, it was shortly before he passed away, so um, he, was, he was, you know, different in age from the, from the man that I was playing, but, but right. similar in spirit, you know, in, in essence, in the way that he told stories. And, um, and, and so that helped me to, to get a grasp of, of who he was more. And, um, and, then, and then, you know, then we had our boot camp that we did together. And, and having two weeks of being in boot camp with with everybody that you see in the show, and the, yeah. the amount of, of brotherhood and camaraderie that we felt during that time was was really incredible. You led me right into my next question. Okay, yeah. Calum, I wanted to ask you that because what really struck me was the camaraderie, and especially between you two, because you guys had very different personalities, these men. But you're thrown into this situation. Mm. You're all dealing with the same crap here. Like my God, you could be dead in five minutes. You don't know. And so I wanted to know how the camaraderie between the actors, you know, kind of translated on onto the screen because you can't play that stuff. You just can't. No, we were really lucky. We we liked each other a lot. And the moment <laughs> that uh, Austin and I met was it, we just hit it off and uh, and hung out pretty much for eleven months straight. Mm. Um, uh, which, by the way, creates a vacuum for when mm. it ends, and it's mm. like a real like hurricane that you're in because you spent all this time with someone and these people and and then you, you're on to another project or you're somewhere else and it's a weird feeling uh the the boot camp was essential really for yeah. us to bond we like lost our individuality to um to the green of the fatigues and uh just all threw ourselves into it and we had this um all of us, this competitiveness and this determination to to, to be one of the, the the best on the on the on the squadron and and uh, not be left behind and um, you know when everyone's put in the same direction, it's an easy it's an easy thing. Mm. Yeah, all said and done, you know when I watched the very very end of this series and I'm watching the credits and how they showed the real people and then yeah. you guys have I, I'm bawling like I need. 18 boxes of Kleenex. It's unbelievable. So really quickly, Austin, because uh, I want to get this from both of you, how does working on something like this and knowing what these young men did for their country change you? You know, it's it's just such an incredible privilege to to be a small part of bringing their story to life. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I think it, it can't, you, you can't go through it without it changing you in some way because it, it um, the amount of time that you're spending trying to understand th their minds, you know, and and, um, and the, the the amount of terror that they were facing, the amount yeah. of loss that they experienced, um, and the amount of bravery to overcome all of that, mm. uh, really, um, it, it, you could feel it in your soul, you know, and and so we got to live with that for almost a year, you know, so yeah. it, it definitely yeah. does. Um, it definitely does change you. Callum, quickly. Oh, there, you, you know, there's that scene towards the end where Austin and I are having a drink on the balcony and the fireworks are going off. Yeah. And it was uh, there was a synergy with, with what those guys had, had, had done that I felt between us. And after doing something for 11 months, and I don't want to compare being at war for two and a half years to making a TV show. Of course. But there is something of, of there, was a, there was a sense of achievement that was was possibly one of the greatest in my life, especially uh, at work in that moment. And, and, and I really felt that. And to do something of this magnitude with this amount of respect that I have yeah. for these guys is nothing but a pleasure and an honor. And uh, yeah, I'll take that with me forever.
Yeah, well, you guys should be extremely proud of what you've done, and uh, you really have done these guys justice. So thank you so thank much you. for your time today. Thank you. And, and again, the series is absolutely spectacular. You did a great job. Thank well, you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet have you. Have a great day.